jump right in with our first hot headline. A lot of us have been there after a few drinks. Maybe your vision gets a little blurry. Some say you might even put on those beer goggles. But are beer goggles a myth? We went to the streets to hear what you thought. My take on beer goggles is that I don't think it necessarily makes individuals more attractive. I'd say it definitely lowers your standards. There have been some women that I've kissed that I wish I had. I don't think beer goggles are a real thing. It's real. It's too real. Everyone looks the same to me, man. They all look sexy. I definitely believe in beer goggles. Uh, I think past a certain point, everything goes. People do see differently when they have been drinking some. I think they're definitely a real thing and something that, you know, people my age, 21, should be very aware of. I do not think beer goggles are a real thing. It's just something people say as an excuse. You all look so good. Don't we look hot? You are the best looking audience. I just want to kiss all of you. <laughs> really, these give me a headache. <laughs> so, this is interesting, and there's a medical reason we're going to talk about beer goggles here. But a Durham University study, there, that university is in the UK, questions whether or not alcohol actually makes you drop your standards. They looked at the study and they found that it didn't make people see others as more attractive, it just caused them to lower their inhibitions. So if you look at your brain, what happens when you drink alcohol is your frontal lobe is not working quite as well. Your frontal lobe is what determines, it helps you rationalize. Wow, I think this is a good idea or a bad <laughs> idea. It's why people make a lot of bad decisions under the influence, which is why we always say moderate alcohol intake, not, <laughs> not prolific. Um, but what's, what's really interesting, and I don't know if you would agree with this or not, but another study suggested that drinking alcohol doesn't make other people better looking to you, but that when you look in the mirror, you think you're better looking. Yeah, I, think, I, think that's, I think that's a big part of it. I think sometimes you're at, you're at a place, you're a little bit shy, reserved, so your inhibition goes down with the alcohol. But the other part of it is that now you've got this confidence. You think you look good, you think you're smoother than you probably are. So you go up to people maybe you otherwise wouldn't. And so I think that's the other part of it. It's a disinhibition, but it's also this sort of inflation of the ego. Yeah, I can do this. I can pull this off. Like spinach to Popeye. You start, you start walking Absolutely. around and you think you have swag. And you know, it just, nope. <laughs> and, and why do I just envision, I think of back to all the movies we've seen, it's usually the guys who think they have that swag. And You're right. It, they just don't. Yeah. They just don't. They think but they if she's do, had a beer or two, she might think she the swag out. too. <laughs> exactly. So obviously the, the other thing we do need to mention is that when you do drink alcohol, if you go too far, your inhibitions are dropped, and that's when a lot of things can happen. And just remember, you have to be safe because sexually transmitted diseases, unwanted pregnancies, they often Car do accidents. occur after because imbibing too much alcohol. So cheers. Cheers. One more sip and we're putting it away. In moderation. There you go. Mm. All right.